DJ Ferris. Chicago, nigga. It's the real one. He back. Only one is pulling shit. Fuck up the. We're gonna sports so. talk. The signs of hope are here, but I think Raheem Morris may be coaching his way into the job. The problem is, it's not going to be easy the rest of the way. They still got the Bucks twice, the Saints twice. They got the Chiefs coming up. Uh, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, got the Raiders. Uh, they've certainly had a better look about their football team. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Offense is better. Defense is better. Defense has been like a lot better. Uh, I, I mean, I think that's the thing that's jumped out to me more than anything. And then Raheem seems to have the guys believing and playing. Playing hard. I mean, they're physical. He's brought a little creativity to the defensive side of the ball and the things they do there. And, of course, we know they got weapons on the offense. Yes, like he, he could be the next head coach for them. Because when Quinn, when Quinn was at the helm, this team ain't winning no game. Since Raheem took over, this team started winning. They 3-6. Yes, it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't much, but it's better from the beginning to now. Like he can make a case of being the next man to coach the Falcons because he did a good job of getting the players ready to play, and they play a lot of spiring football with Raheem being the head coach. Like, they play better. Like, they got the weapons around Matt Ryan. They just they, they look defeated in the first half of the year. And they look like a different team once they put Raheem as the interim head coach. The team start winning a few more games to get the three and six. Cause after that, it looked like they was going on the verge of not winning no game this season. So he made a good case of being the next man to coach them. Side of the ball. I don't know. I don't know if he can realistically save his own job and become the head coach. I'll be interested to see where this goes. I mean, they're an interesting team altogether, and just that, that all. But but uh, they look better. I'll say that. But I still don't expect them to make the playoffs. I don't. I don't. I think the schedule is too tough down the down the road here, and they'll lose you know another game or two for sure. Yeah, I look. I, I agree with you completely. This is about deciding whether or not Raheem is the guy, and th this is going to be the challenge. If yes, they got a tough second half schedule. Coming up, but if he don't get this job with the Falcons, he could get another head coaching job somewhere else because they could take a look at his tape of how he coaching this team right now and see can he duplicate that with somebody else's team and see can he get them going and he get another head coaching job somewhere else. He could he he could play his way into that either being a Falcons head coach or somebody else's head coach. You're Arthur Blank, the owner of the team, Rich McKay, the CEO. Look, they're going to hire a GM also, but will they do enough in games that they are likely to lose, if they do indeed lose those games, to still convince the powers that be that Raheem Morris is the answer? Or are they going to feel compelled to just rip the Band-Aid off? That would be... We need somebody who wasn't connected to any exactly. of the stuff that's gone on here that's over the, the past question. several years. Yeah, that, that to me, I, I think that's the big question. Do you really want to continue this, you know, prior regime, really? Or do you want to rip it off and let's just get all new ideas, new, new everything, new coaches, of course the new GM, and just an overall rehaul of the organizational belief? That is what they're going to have to re or, you know, figure out here down the stretch. Raheem's awesome. i got a lot of experience with Raheem. He's got great energy. He's a great leader. He's an outside-the-box thinker. He deserves to be a head coach again. He does. I just don't know if that right now with Atlanta is the right time. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching.